morning, everybody, and thank you so much Good morning, for Dana. your kind words. It is my great delight to, to join you from Finland. Um, I'm going to tell you about my experience of the first ever uh, autumn Chelsea Flower Show. Chelsea Flower ha Show has a long history. It's 108 eight years old, but really it was first time when the show was held in September. I will now go through how building a show garden, uh, what it means, what it includes, and pointing out something which is special for the autumn. So on my first picture, you can see the Finnish soul garden in evening light and to be honest normally um, when we have designed or done Chelsea flower show gardens in the May time you don't really um, see the lighting and now when the show was held in September the lighting in the garden came even more important so in this picture, you can see how we have used the lightings under the decking, on the trees, on the artwork, and even in sauna. So I will take the next light. Can, can you, can you, yes. And this, what Chelsea Flower Show was, it was really stunningly beautiful. It was, you know, there was not only feeling of that being very unique, but I felt that the people were hungry to come and share the love and passion for the gardens, for the designs, for the plants, and just having a chat with your colleagues and be able to share what has been going on past a couple of years since the Chelsea 2019. And um, it was very cleverly done. But it was first time as well that the Chelsea was open full week. So on Monday, there was this VIP day when the Royals and the media came. And on the two, from Tuesday until Sunday, the show was open. And it, I think it was very good because there was small space for people to see the gardens and the feedback from the visitors was very good because there was so much space. So the next slide. Um, there is the story behind of my garden. And basically the garden uh, was telling a story of us Finns our love and uh, connection to nature and on the other hand showing how rich our nature is and now during the covid time i think this was clear not only us the Finns, but the people in london and i'm sure that in, in your hometown and in all in, in uh, Poland and in Europe and in the world, rest of the world as well, we notice that how important it is that if you have this opportunity to enjoy the areas around yourself, the environment, the richness of the uh, gardens, parks, and the design as well. And it was a good reminding, reminder of that, that we, we maybe used to take granted all of this greenery, but now we realize that it is more important than ever to have these surroundings. And including some layers, I will show you some art pieces which I have used um, in my design. And you can see that uh, um, in this picture, you can see that how important elements like the, like in my design was these rocks, 
which is very, very finished. We love our granite. And the granite which I used in this garden, it was black granite. And this big monster piece, which you can see on the left side, it was over 7,000 tons. It was 7.4 tons. And under it, there was the other rock, which was over 5,000 tons. All together, I brought things from home, black granite rocks. They were over uh, 12,000 uh, tons. To my delight, I'm able to say that these rocks are now transferred from the Bisley Garden, and they will be made to be permanent art piece there. And this was, you know, great, great honor for me, me as well the Finns. I think it's it's a it will be there always telling a story about this special Chelsea flower show which we had, as well this connection. Um, when I did my first Chelsea Flower Show Garden uh, 16 years ago, oh, I was working first time uh, at the Chelsea with Carol Klein. I'm sure you know Carol Klein. She told me that the plants and the gardens are international. They don't look which country you are coming or where you are original. We share the same passion. And with my design, I wanted to show that how we share this passion, we Finns share our passion to you uh, all, all around the, uh, the globe, the passion for the nature and design as well, which is very important, our sauna culture. Um, next slide, I will show you uh, my sponsors. So, Chelsea Flower Show Gardens are not cheap to do. They, are, they require a lot of detailed works. They require a lot of hard landscaping. They, they require a lot of time, a lot of design as well. So I was extremely lucky, and I'm very humble to say this to you, that my main sponsor was our uh, Minister of Agriculture and Forestry, as well our embassy in London, as well I have um, uh, visit Finland and Finnish uh, British uh, um, common um, business uh, supporting me as well, and City of Vanta, as well, a lot of companies, Loiman Kivi sponsored me uh, these lovely, lovely black uh, granite rocks. Kekkila sponsored me, I will show you later on. Not only soil, they are world leading, uh, uh, the Europe leading uh, soil company, but other items as well. Ratia, I was lucky to use their design. So all the details, what I'm going to show you and tell you in my lecture, they are linking way or the other the Finland, the Finnish design, the Finnish companies, the Finnish peoples. So um, even my jewelry, which I was used, they are mentioned there, and the artwork, they linked not only to Finland and Finnish design, but this garden as well. On the right side, you can see the artwork, which uh, was done by Alex Kopp, and um, they these artworks which was in uh, in the scene to to be seen at the sauna uh, they were based on the pictures which i have uh, been taken this artwork is uh, uh, made uh, into copper uh, i just love it i just love it um, my hard landscape company was uh, Rosquan Quest, and um, this was second time when I was working with him and with his team. And um, I think um, even this year um, was uh, more challenging because we have this very big and deep water feature, and the water was so pure. You can see it in the pictures later on. We, we managed to do that. Of course, as uh, Chelsea, it's, um, there is always some challenges and I will go show you some pictures of that. But overall, I can say that, that the teamwork and the, uh, 
all the sport working with the sponsors and hard landscaping, it went very well. So this is what I see when I go there. Uh, we start building on the 2nd of September. And uh, you can see that uh, in the air, it, it was autumn already. There wasn't this spring sunshine, what you would normally see. We did, I have to be honest and say, during the building time, we were very lucky. We had very sunny days, so we were using sun creams and hats to protect ourselves fr from the sun and drinking a lot of water. But, and we only had one extremely heavy rain day. So we were very lucky. And I say that, you know, because I heard that uh, this May was very difficult in, in London. It was raining a lot there that um, we were lucky to have this Chelsea Flowers or Shoka uh, uh, to be transferred from May to this September. But this is how we start. The uh, main cross has been taken away and with the area where we are going to build is marked. But how we end up to this, where uh, BBC is reco recording me to uh, receiving an award. Um, there is a lot of work behind. There is a lot of thinking behind. There is a lot of uh, challenges behind of, uh, that. And there is a lot of detailing. And you can't, I am uh, honest again, and say that you can't pinpoint all the details uh, what you are going to do at your show garden. Because like I mentioned already, there will be things happening what you can't control. Things what you hope would happen, wouldn't happen to you are happening to you. And you have to be able to be flexible. You have to be able to understand that uh, that you are able to finish the garden, you have to get fresh idea or you have to get some extra power um, and uh, challenge not only yourself, but your team, whole your team working together as a team to achieve this award is the main thing I would say. Select your team well, work with them, Respect them is very important. Working with the media, like here with the BBC and the newspapers um, and uh, all the journalists is very important. And in my case, because I wasn't just telling about me. No, no, no. I was a minor actor. I was telling about Finland. Finnish nature, our love to nature and sauna culture. It's even more important that you understand and respect all the players uh, to working with you. So um, I will just go back. Before we will start uh, this uh, uh, video, which is four minutes long, it's a very uh, famous and respected uh, uh, TV presenter, uh, journalist, and uh, Bunny Guinness by herself. She is a um, designer as, as well. Um, I think it's, it's important, it's very good video telling about uh, this garden. And I'm very humble and very uh, taken of the words what uh, Bunny Guinness is using on, on her video. So let's see this. It's uh, about four minutes long. I hope you can see that well. This is the garden I'm going to pack up and take home with me. Um, it's fantastic. It's designed by Taino Sionio who is Finnish, and it's actually sponsored by the Finnish Department of Agriculture and um, Forestry. And I think it says a lot that a government department is putting money and backing behind gardens like this, because it has actually got many serious, very good points to it. It's called the Finnish Soul Garden, and saunas, obviously, 
well known throughout Finland and they're meant to be extremely good for your mental health. I've got one or two footballer clients who are putting in saunas or have put in saunas because it's so good for your mental stimulation and for your body. And so they're not just a pleasant thing to do, they're actually very beneficial to you. Um, and beside it, we've got this wonderful pool so you can come out of the sauna and then you can plunge into the pool and that is also very good for you. More serious points, obviously the roof. The planting on the roof is really carefully thought out because Tino actually does research at the university into the greening of roofs. Now, obviously, there's millions of acres of roofs throughout the world. And instead of having tiles, which just bounce off heat, they're very good for absorbing water. They're very good for biodiversity. They're very good for insulation. So really, we should be having far more green roofs throughout the country and throughout the world. And what Tyne does is because not only is she a researcher into green roofs, but she actually works as a garden designer. So what she does is when she's got a client coming up and she's going to put a green roof on, she has a word with the university and they do trials on it, they monitor it. So it's not just thrown up by any means at all. It's actually really well thought through. It's very scientific and it's very positive. And I'm sure in 10 or 15 years time, we'll be seeing many more green roofs and a very good thing too. A lot of reclamation here. We've got reclaimed sleepers, which I think look fabulous, contrasting with the highly modern sauna. And by the way, if you want to buy this sauna, it's available for 10K. And wouldn't it look fabulous in many gardens? The rocks come over from Finland, as have some of the trees. And Prince Charles is interested in buying some of the trees, probably, because he's got a very good tree collection, his arboretum, and he might well take some of these. Now, the pool is very natural looking in a way, very soft, very sympathetic. But then we've got the very, very finished feeling outdoor eating area. Now, doesn't it just shriek Finland that you clean, modern, simple, quite low key, but strong design. And if you look at the raised bed, I, the raised bed's fun. I've never seen a raised bed like that, but it, it's perfect, isn't it? Proper little area for beautiful herbs and things like that. I love the backcloth, the boundary, the beautiful cladding around the edge. It all has the same feel with a single stem bachelor. I think they're bachelor utilists, the birch trees, young feathered trees. What I love about this garden is it's in two different halves, but actually it gels very well together. Very stylish, very simple, very strong. I think it's triumph. I think it's a really lovely garden. And I think it's really great that the Finnish government are prepared to sponsor the gardens like this. And the reason is, obviously, is because Chelsea is the most prestigious flower show in the whole world. It um, promotes massive business for horticulture throughout the world. And people that come and exhibit here get massive international coverage. And that's what it's all about. So it's a massive gain for the horticultural industry um, and I think that is such a big plus and all us gardeners really benefit from shows like this. All right, uh, um, that was funny Guinness and um, like I said I'm very humble um, to hearing her very beautiful feedback. And um, I respect her so much that getting feedback like that from her, it really means a lot. So, um, Chelsea Flower Show, I have been saying it's not only about design or plants, but it is about uh, us, people who work there as a team, support it's ourselves. And um, that's very important for me. But obviously, it is a flower show. And um, the plants which uh, you are selecting to be used at your show garden is very important because they tell a story um, of your design. And um, there is a lot of research and working. Uh, uh, work to go uh, to selecting right plants to support your design idea or it could be that you will start your uh, idea of the garden uh, uh, linking to the plants like um, 
I would, I would, I could maybe say that my my garden idea. Quite many people has been asking um, how long it took me from me to the design uh, this year's show garden, and I, I have to be honest and I to say that when I got the, this blank paper in front of me and paper pen pencil and uh, and I sat down and. The idea, the design just came out of me. It took me less than 15 minutes. I would maybe say that around 10 minutes. And I have done the basic uh, design for the garden. And um, very strongly um, came out of, out of me uh, the planting as well. So the, this is not my part of my plant list, not the full, but. Um, um, I knew quite straight away as well what kind of plants I want to use, which would uh, strongly support the idea what I wanted to pass to visitors and people like you who are today listening to my talk and um, to everybody. Um, and um, I, I can say that the Things like uh, using uh, plants at the roof garden or vegetated roof, um, which I were based on uh, our research at the university, like uh, oregano or fragaria or other pollinators, or using uh, native trees like a uh, pinus and a uh, petula or forestry planting, which uh, would go uh, this. Uh, forest area. Um, even I have this very strong idea which plants I would like to use. Uh, because the show was moved from uh, 2020 to May 2021 and then later on uh, this uh, September, I have extremely lot challenges. Um, I lost my first plot of uh, plants uh, because the, it was too difficult to some of the plants be hold in the nursery, which was throwing them to me too expensive. It's very expensive. And um, then some plants, which I would have loved to use in, in spring garden, telling a story of uh, Finland in springtime, would not have looked anything in, in September. So I have to take a huge step back, start connect, connecting all the nurseries. Again, I have nine nurseries to working with me in, in Finland and all around in UK as well. Um, stay, stay, so taking step back and um, going through the list of plants, researching again, um, which plants would present best way um, Finland in autumn time, which, which plants, which trees would be looking interesting in autumn time. There have to be something like in the park or like in this petula that you, will, you saw on my first picture, it was multi-stem petula, which was actually my first plant or uh, uh, which I bought over two and a half years ago for this show garden, which I was so happy to say that the nursery did great job to looking after that, that tree. But um, it wasn't easy. And uh, it, um, because there was so short time for changing from spring to autumn, it required a lot really not only from me, but all the nursery people as well. So I'm extremely happy to thank all the nurses who worked with me. And it means that when you show the, uh, how happy you are to work and this connection with them, you hopefully they will work with you together. You are working together in the future, in the later stage as well. So this is the reality of the Chelsea Flower Show. Uh, we are working long hours. We are um, 
we are stretching our limits. We are really, we get not only physically tired, but we get mentally tired as well. We, we have this set timetable. Uh, we started building on the 2nd of September and the garden has to be ready by 16th. And uh, as you can see in, in, in my garden, there was a lot of challenging elements. There was this huge, huge water feature, which was presenting to be Baltic Sea. It was deep and it was big. And uh, we wanted it, the water be clear and we wanted to have these drizzles. Not only that, we have these big rocks from Finland. We have a sauna brought from Finland, delivered from Finland. And we have details like this a uh, rock paving. And why I'm pointing out this night work, uh, what we did with this paving, is that our rocks were held in customs. So we were panicking. There wasn't many days left before the garden had to be ready. And we didn't know if we are getting our rocks uh, or not. And uh, we were already thinking with my, uh, my hard landscape company contractor, Ross, uh, what are our options? Well, how we can, if we are not getting these rocks, which were specially made for me, for this garden by Loiman Kivi, they are black granite, same as these monster rocks. They, uh, the idea was making a dust paving to show some uh, unusual uh, uh, design, the feature, what you can bring up. Uh, but we were lucky. We were extremely lucky. We managed to get these rocks, which I'm very pleased uh, for the help of the, uh, on the end with the customs. But uh, it meant that we have to really catch up the time. We have to work even longer hours to be able to finish the garden. And in here, in this picture, you can see that when you are doing the show garden, uh, you have to always think in your mind many, many things, not only how pretty some plants are together or what clothes you are using when it's media day or what kind of press statement you are giving or um, not things like that. But you have to think safety during the building stage as well. And that is something what you wouldn't maybe think that you have to keep in your mind. And, um, and like, uh, because it was so deep, this water feature was, uh, uh, we, it was the final height was uh, from the, oh, actually um, it was 150 plus uh, digging and something for these layers. So it, um, and the people, there's a lot of people around during the building stage. So you have to think that how you will take care that there's no accidents. So fencing out was uh, very important, but it obviously caused a lot of troubles as well. And it's quite, a, uh, takes a lot of time when you have to move these fences and put them back again, and just to be sure that no accidents is happening, but it is very important. And uh, you can see that there's a big machines working. The garden side is, was, uh, it was uh, 12 by nine meters, if I remember correct. So it's very, very tight area what you're building as well. And um, you still have to be able to manage to do all the work <laughs> and, and with the time. So in this picture, you can see how naked the garden is. Um, basically, all the main heart landscape has been done in, in this stage. The sauna has come from Finland. 
the decking has been installed. I have a decking in the sau uh, under the sauna, and I have the decking for where I have the tables and chairs. I have the fencing uh, done, and um, I have uh, most of the uh, the big rocks were installed already, and uh, and the apple tree was installed, but all the planting was missing. And uh, as you can see how naked it is, how actually very cold it is without any plants. But in, in this picture, you can see how important it is to pay attention for the details of the hard landscaping, because if you don't do this, and if you don't correct any mistakes or any unbalanced things, which which maybe you have uh, happened, then when you will start bringing in the plants and trees, it is extremely difficult to do. Uh, one very interesting detail regarding of the decking is that on left side, and actually all my decking goods, each of the slab weigh 200 kilos, each of them. So they were very difficult to handle. It took four to five guys uh, to carry them. So establishing the decking was a lot of work by itself already. Um, and the tree, which you can see in this apple tree, in this picture, I have a story uh, to that as well, because what happened was that um, when this tree was transferred to the garden, um, we noticed that the root system wasn't maybe the best the tree wasn't the happiest when it arrived. It looked green and it, it did have uh, apples in it, but somehow um, it just didn't feel right. And even how we were watering and maintaining and giving love and tender and care, it just wasn't happy. So actually in, in the last moments, when nearly all the planting was done, nearly all the work was done, I have to make a um, decision to change that apple tree. And you can um, understand, I'm sure you can understand that making decision like that on the last days when nearly everything is ready, it's a big decision, but I'm so happy that I did that and I'm so happy and thankful for the nursery that they were in the game and they uh, agreed up with me and my team uh, didn't uh, lose their nerves for me, but we were able to change the tree because it was so important tree. It was so perfect. Um, part of the design that I couldn't take a challenges that um, it wouldn't look at it best. So the next slide. There I am um, uh, doing, doing uh, planting uh, this vegetated roof and the plants um, um, which I used there, they were really based on the results of the our uh, University of Helsinki research team findings. Obviously, I didn't uh, use all the plants which we have found to be good to use at the vegetated roofs uh, because the roof was, um, wasn't big enough. And I wanted to use plants which were sowing uh, that, uh, that uh, even in autumn time, you can have a plants in vegetated roofs which support uh, pollinators. And during a show week, the people were stunned to see how rich and lively uh, this vegetated roof was. Um, but um, it turned out to be very good. And I hope 
um, that in the future we can see much more vegetated roofs, even in a garden shed, shed uh, or the sauna buildings or buildings, something like that. Water, the water feature, I'm just checking my time that I'm not overstretching um, my given time. Um, the water was very, very important part of this design because actually uh, the base of this uh, design, the idea came um, uh, from the Helsinki and um, part of the Helsinki, heart of the Helsinki, very heart of the city of the Helsinki, where um, we have this public beach where we have these sauna buildings or saunas, which you can uh, use if you are like a member of the rolling club or you just uh, want to have sauna. So um, I wanted to show that even the heart of the city you can have um, on, on the, this Baltic uh, Sea, you can have a good quality of life, you can have a good uh, um, environment which is rich by its biodiversity, it's a good for your health and it's good for your social life and uh, showing that, that linking all these elements together, you can create uh, the show garden. So the Baltic Sea, which is, we are sharing, <laughs> you have the Baltic Sea as well in, in Poland, we are sharing the same sea. It's a uh, very important and it's very unique because it is the youngest sea in the world. And um, the, the plants which are surviving and growing on the in Baltic Sea uh, uh, area is are very different than if we think uh, like uh, Atlantic or something else. And uh, I wanted to tell that respecting our lakes and rivers and sea is very important. It's getting more important, and that is something what we us designers should always think, always remember to respect the water, respect our nature and environment as has whole. But the details, you can see here that I have this floating deck um, and above that I have that sauna and I'm using on the right side, you can see this edge wood, which is very old and worn. And I have this step where you can uh, go to have a dip in this Baltic uh, water Baltic Sea water feature. And actually, I don't know if you have heard or seen, uh, but BBC was filming uh, me and my husband and our friend when we went to sauna and I plunged in this uh, water feature after the being in sauna. So it has been recorded by BBC, which was very funny indeed. Using, using plants which will tie in uh, with the rest of the design, like in here, water forgot me not. And uh, with the color scheme bringing out like I wanted these uh, blue colors bringing, uh, bringing out the, this uh, black color, which was uh, gray in some part when the light hit that. And when I was using this uh, uh, sand in, and gravel on the beach side, just showing appreciation of a combination of these different textures as well. Bringing them together, working together is um, requires a lot of detail thinking. I mentioned you already that art was very important part of my, my design. And uh, that is something what I felt is important message to tell to uh, the visitors and the people who will see about uh, this uh, garden, um, even through the magazines or BBC or other um, like lectures like this, is that um, how 
uh, nature can inspire us uh, in different ways. And this artwork is done by a very well-known Finnish artist, um, um, and, um, and it's called by Vey. This art is called by Vey, and it is presenting the movement of the water in Baltic, Baltic Sea. And the designer is Johanna Oras, and she was actually there um, during a, a show week. And not only that, she did this uh, design for the garden, but she has been, she painted the garden as, as well. And she promised that I will get the copy of the painting uh, when it is ready. And um, behind of that rock, uh, you can see uh, that is like a forestry area. And um, we all, I think in, in Poland and in Finland and in rest of the Europe as well, the people like to have these shortcuts. So I created this shortcut through the woods, through the pine trees and ferns and mosses um, to the sauna. So even we have this, uh, um, a formal uh, entrance to the sauna. I wanted to show how people act uh, when there is opportunity uh, to make a shortcut. And uh, in here you can see some details um, of the, the garden. On the left side, um, I have a artwork which was done by using a uh, reeds, uh, the plant which is growing in the Baltic Sea and the lakes in, in all in, in Europe. And uh, it was a statement of the, on the wall you can see it's a, uh, artwork is called uh, Mother Nature. So it's telling a story of that, um, how um, the trees, the root system, do the all, all the leaves and uh, canopy. And on, on next to that, on the um, left side, you can see this, uh, um, I would say, very modern way of using uh, a straw and or reeds for making a sculpture. So they are made out of the matter which you can get from nature. And I wanted to show with this, uh, these uh, artworks that uh, you, you, the, there's no limitation what you can do. It's only limitation is your head, in your head. So when you are creating something different, unique, you are making a statement, you are telling that go on, push yourself and um, give opportunity to to create the artwork. On the right side, uh, um, on this uh, slide, you can see how important it was really the thing, lighting, uh, because uh, when I took this uh, picture, it, uh, the show wasn't yet closed. So the people were still wandering around the Chelsea area and without, um, if, if my garden would not have, have these lightings or lights, different types, I, have, I used candles as well to, uh, to bring out uh, that softness. Um, it would have been very, very, uh, you know, you would not have been able to appreciate uh, some of the details. You can see through the glass that the sauna was on. So I wanted to create this atmosphere for the visitors seeing that uh, the sauna, the benefits of that is seeing the uh, light fire and uh, this, um, how it connected with the candles, how it, uh, that light connecting, the lighting under the decking. And uh, in this picture, you can see as well um, this floating decking. And for me, it was very important to see under uh, this uh, uh, decking and this, even the step 
was floating. So obviously it was a quite a big challenge uh, by doing the hard landscaping, but those were very important details uh, what you should be thinking when you are doing Chelsea Flower Show Garden. And you can see that in sauna, when you uh, went in sauna, I used art and, um, and uh, combining it with the rest of the design, because in old times in Finland, the art was extremely important part. And it is still our every time life, everyday life, it's important part of that. But it was even more important because for example, it was the warm and clean place the ladies have the babies delivered. And we used to have art um, as a part of the sauna. So I want to bring out that historical idea or the way um, how we used to have a, how we de decorated saunas. And um, yes, um, selecting uh, furniture to your show garden isn't easy. No, no, by all means, I have to say that for me, uh, it is maybe one of the most difficult decisions that I have to make because with them you are they are very big part of the design uh, they they are very big important statement and obviously because um, I was uh, using a black color in the fence in the sauna I I have to somehow I felt that I have to connect that black color to the furniture. So in, in here, uh, these are designed by uh, Tapio Antila. He's a very well uh, recognized uh, uh, designer here in Finland and actually all around the globe as well. And um, so it, his design, um, this lightness, which feels or look like a very lightness um, is um, it is uh, true, but actually all the chairs and tables they were, they were very heavy, so they felt that they are proper quality. And I wanted to use this light color in uh, in the tables and chairs, combining uh, the black color so that uh, it didn't feel too heavy. It, the garden, if I would have used some other color, I don't even, I can't even think which color I would have been using if I would not have used this light wood color, um, because I felt it would have been too much. All, all the colors of the planting scheme and uh, the bark of the uh, petulas and uh, even the Apple, apple colors of the apples have to combine all uh, with, with my uh, rest of the things. And so it was very important to use this type of uh, furniture in the garden and then bring, softening it with white, having small details uh, in the garden. Um, where I used a white, which on the other hand, brought up the uh, color of the petula, which I did multi-stem petula. And um, you thinking like a cutleries and plates and classes, which are all are were from Finland as well, was important part of the design. So you, when you are doing show garden, Chelsea show garden, you have to think all the details. The details like what kind of uh, color of candle or napkins you are using in your design. And you, here you can see see from the other direction uh, the tables and the chairs. And on your right side you can see this uh, planting table, which I think really well raised up, brought a different uh, height level. 
for the design as well. And on that, uh, I will have a better picture. I used herbs. But against that black wall, high black wall, I wanted to use this uh, um, petulas, very young petulas, because I'm telling a story to that, that we use petula stems to make a punch of um, like a flower uh, um, punch, but using a petula stems. Uh, when we go to sauna. So when you have a cottage or when you have a sauna near you, you would have normally petula where you would take this um, uh, stems and you would use them in sauna to whip yourself because it's good for your blood circul circulation. And from this is the other angle, how I wanted uh, this, how important to use right type of furniture and, and uh, detailing your design is important. You have to be able to visualize your garden, not only from the front, but all different directions. So, so when the, for example, uh, the people are coming and seeing your garden, they can always find something new to be seen. Combining colors together. Like in here, you can see how the, how this orange, uh, burn um, orange uh, color connects with the color of the uh, chairs and on the other hand with the apples. So think details, think how they can work together. And this is the planter, which I used it for the design of the Kekila company. And, uh, I have those by myself here in Finland as well. And they're very good if you want to use herbs. They're very good if you have a very small garden and, uh, and um, bring in just the details, your design. I wanted to use purple, different type of purple and white uh, to bring that uh, adding colors and textures um, in, in in the garden, I use them in my herbs and front garden design as well. So this is the uh, detail planting uh, under the tree. So um, I have to keep in my mind very strongly that um, these plants which I use in my garden, they have to tell the story of Finland and the plants which we would be able to grow in in Finland, they have to be able to survive our uh, winter as well, as well my uh, support, my story of biodiversity and how you can have even a small place, you can have uh, plants uh, which will, um, uh, which are good for pollinators, butterflies and so on. And um, then being uh, beautiful to look at, combining colors, textures together, bringing something new, something uh, different. So I have now a couple of pictures of the sauna and um, even, um, even things like um, uh, open fire, uh, actually it was first ever Finnish sauna, working Finnish sauna at the Chelsea Flower Show. So we make some history on that. And well, uh, on the right side, you can see the artworks which I was uh, telling you about. Uh, and then I was using handmade rocks in, in this dressing room. And those uh, rocks, uh, they presented the uh, uh, oh, they, the colors and the texture of them were selected from the plants uh, used in, in the garden. And I have to say that is something, uh, it's very old uh, way of doing rocks. And I was so happy to be able to show that, um, um, that in, 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 in this sauna garden. So I'm just looking once again, what time is it? It's 10 past 12, so I still have some time. Um, people, I would not have been able to do Chelsea Flower Soul Garden, uh, the Finnish Soul Garden, without help of people. And uh, in, in this picture on, on my uh, right side is the ambassador of uh, Finland in London. 
And on my uh, left, left side, there is uh, um, acting uh, secretary of uh, uh, Minister of, of Agriculture and Forestry. And, uh, and uh, next to her, there is um, Ralph, uh, oh, the, yeah, Jana and, uh, and Jukka was our ambassador, but the Ralph has been connection for this international year of the plant health, which the garden was a telling uh, story as well. But having the people sharing your passion, having a people supporting your idea, like I felt I have a whole Finland supporting me was very important. But obviously, I would not have been able to do show garden without a good team. And in this picture, you can see my on left side, my hard landscaping team. And on on the uh, right side, I have my uh, uh, during the last stage, I have so called gardening team. They were they were not only helping me digging the holes and watering plants. They were as well washing the windows and they were painting the hedges and they were helping finalizing the garden. Altogether, there was over 120 people doing this garden with me. And, uh, and you know, I felt that it's, it's, it's just um, keeping people happy and feeling, letting them feel that they are part of something unique is it was it wasn't a challenge of course it requires a lot of work but i was very lucky to do that because without all these over 120 people i would not have been able to do show garden so when you are doing chelsea flower show garden you have to always be thankful and understanding that you need so many people to support you. It's not just about you. Even your name will be there to be seen forever. It's about all the people who work with you. So thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please ask. Oh, one more, one more thing with, before I let you to ask question is that I want you to take a note to see the detail in design, which, which I'm actually very proud, is this multi petula working together with rock, this rock. It, they, they, were, uh, they were like combining, like they would have been always planned to be together like that. I was very happy that you are here with us and hope to see you soon at Chelsea in, on May in the normal time, not on the autumn, or maybe they have idea to, to, uh, to make uh, twice a year Chelsea, the summer and uh, <laughs> autumn edition, who knows? Thank you very much oh. again. Good luck and Thank hope to see you soon. Thank you, Thank you very much. Bye, bye, bye.